Hi, this is Emily Slaney with TV Guide Magazine and TVInsider.com, and I'm here with the cast of Ms. Marvel. And I have Ms. Marvel herself right now. Does this look like some kind of writing you? It's hard to read. Um, looks like Arabic or Urdu. I don't know. Okay. Well, let's focus on what we know. Light comes out of you, and it hardens. Let's call it hard light. Groundbreaking. First... On a scale of one to 10, how excited were you when you booked this role, this like incredible history making role? Zero, I couldn't feel anything. <laughs> I was in utter shock. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's fantastic. Um, tell me about Kamala. I mean, she's this massive fangirl. I find her so very likable. Um, she's so easy to watch. And I just immediately have fallen in love with her story but I'll let you tell it. What is she all about? Well, Kamala Khan is a 16 year old kid from Jersey city. And uh, I think she's really kind of looking for some simplicity in life through the fantastical world of the Avengers. You know, Captain Marvel doesn't have to deal with boys and religion and high school drama and family drama and cultural drama, just a lot of drama in her life. And, uh, you know, topped off with growing pains and brand new superpowers. So we uh, (laughs) watch Kamala kind of, just subvert all these expectations and labels that are being thrown at her and, and come out of being a watered down version of another hero. And then ultimately just becoming a badass version of, of what a superhero can look like. Absolutely. I love that. And this is her origin story, of course. So how does she react when she discovers these newfound powers that she possesses? Everything she's ever wanted, you know, Kamala getting her powers and me getting this part definitely went hand in hand. So the, the, the shock was there, but, uh, Overall excitement. Obviously, she's also going to become a superhero. She's still learning how to do that at the beginning of the series. And she's a 16-year-old girl. Unlike a lot of the other superheroes that we've seen that are like these already like chiseled, like strong people who can definitely run the mile. And I'm not sure that I feel that from Kamala quite yet. Um, how how much training did you have to worry about training at all for this? Because Kamala is also not trained. Yeah, I, I did have to worry about training. <laughs> I just I wanted to be fit enough to do my stunts. And I'm coming out of high school where I was predominantly living off of uh, Oreos and McDonald's. So right. not the healthiest combination. But um, yeah, I, I did. I did work with some some cool people and just be getting my stamina high enough because I didn't want to look any different you know I was 17 the character 16 so we really weren't that far off and and I don't think she needed six-pack abs so I I wanted to keep the the normal teenager look and just stay you know limber enough to be able to do the stunts because honestly the stunts are quite easy it's just you're doing it for 10 to 14 hour work days and you're using muscles that you didn't even know you had and everything gets sore at the end of the day so to prevent that I just had to do a lot of you know, physio and, and just the Pilates based works. Yeah. You are kind of Kamala's like core crew. Uh, tell me about your characters. Who are they? And what is their relationship with Kamala look like? Um, Matt, do you want to start? Yeah, I'll, I'll start. So, uh, hi, I am Matt Lintz. I play Bruno Corelli, which is one of, uh, Kamala Khan's best friends. Uh, a good way to describe our relationship is like, I am the Ned to her Peter Parker, Bruno's very smart. He, um, he has a high IQ. He helps, uh, helps her throughout her um, whole superhero life. And he knows about that. He helps with gadgets, build stuff. Um, but yeah, he's like the, the man in the chair with the cool gadgets, I guess, is a way to describe him. Um, hi, I'm Yasmin Fletcher. I play Nakia Bahadir and I play Kamala's other best friend and Bruno's best friend as well. Um, and she is Kamala's sarcastic super empowered strong sarc i said sarcastic already <laughs> <laughs> she's obviously very sarcastic um best friend that just is always there for her fiercely supportive of both her and bruno and her entire community and is a big activist loves fashion and is there for them through and through whenever they need it hi i'm rish and i play Kamran. And he's the new guy in town and uh, I guess the new boy on the block. He's kind of able to charm Kamala and a little bit mysterious. And yeah, I mean, we'll have to wait and see where where that goes with them. Now, Matt, you mentioned earlier that Bruno knows about Kamala's powers and all of that that comes with it. 
Mm -hmm. um, for everybody else in the room, um, will we get to see you discover Kamala's powers or have any sort of inkling that there is something going on there? I don't know. I, I, I've only seen episodes one and two, so how am I supposed to? I don't know. It's fair. Who knows? Who knows? Who knows? I would hope at least the other best friend gets to find out. Fingers crossed. I, you would hope so. What are you guys just most excited for fans to see coming up? I think for them to see themselves, you know, Kamala's such a huge fan of the Avengers, of Carol Danvers, and as is Bruno, and I think that they're going to feel represented. It's not often that we get to see a superhero who is so relatable and so similar to ourselves, us being Marvel fans who happen to be involved in the show. And so it's, um, I think it's really exciting that hopefully they'll, gonna walk away from it with a smile on their face and be like oh my god I get it I get it <laughs> you know awesome well thank you three so so much everybody go watch Ms. Marvel it premieres June 8th on Disney plus watch it Woo! it'll be good <laughs> <laughs>